Welcome to the January series of Lightroom tutorials. So in this month, I'm going to be going through uh, all about Lightroom, both Classic and Lightroom CC. So welcome to this series. Today's video is all about the basics of both, which one is which, and what the differences are between the two of them. So let's just get right into it. So first off, you're going to need a Adobe subscription for Creative Cloud, whether that's the full suite or just the photographer's uh, bundle. So when you open them up, this is what Lightroom Classic looks like, and this is what Lightroom CC looks like. So they look very different. Lightroom Classic definitely has a little bit more of a classic look to it. Meanwhile, Lightroom CC has a little bit more of a modern look, and there's definitely a lot more learning features and social features built into it. So uh, that's one big difference. So you might be wondering why Adobe is still pushing updates to the Lightroom Classic software when they already remade the software to make Lightroom CC. Lightroom Classic isn't just an old version of Lightroom CC. It's actually a very different software while they still offer many of the same core functions. Adobe realized that there was a strong group of users that still used Lightroom and wouldn't really like having a big overhaul in terms of the UI. So they took the features from Lightroom Classic, remade them into Lightroom CC, and then added more uh, the social features and the cloud workflows to Lightroom CC as well. But in doing so, they didn't get rid of Lightroom Classics. So there's two very different softwares that people kind of get confused on because Lightroom CC is just labeled Lightroom now. So it kind of looks like it's just the new version of the old Lightroom Classic, but it's not exactly that. One of the big differences between the two is the fact that the new Lightroom is very cloud-based, so that lets you be able to edit photos on the go from your desktop, mobile, and web. Meanwhile, Lightroom Classic is only on your desktop. So if you find that you're on the go a lot and sometimes you don't have your desktop with you, or you're not much of a laptop person and you go traveling and you want to edit some photos, then Lightroom CC might be better for you because you can uh, sync all of your edits to the cloud and then edit on your mobile while you're on the go. And speaking of cloud, that's another big difference in where the software store all the files. On Lightroom Classic, it stores all of its photos and edits onto the hard drive. Meanwhile, Lightroom CC stores all of its uh, photos and edits into the cloud which lets you be able to access it from multiple devices. And because Lightroom CC is working on the cloud, it offers automatic backup, so you don't really have to worry about doing all the manual uh, copying folders between hard drives and things like that that you might with Lightroom Classic. Now, all that being said, Lightroom CC seems to be the best option for everyone because it just has all these brand new features. But Lightroom Classic is a little bit more comprehensive in terms of the amount that you can do to a photo. Lightroom CC has pretty much all of the core features, but it's missing out on a few, and it's made to be a little bit more intuitive and streamlined, so you're kind of missing out on a few different things with Lightroom CC. Personally, to me, it seemed like when Lightroom CC came out, it seemed like it was Adobe's way of pushing a little bit more into the subscription-based model by offering more cloud storage, which, you know, lets more people pay them more money to have more cloud storage. So I guess that's pretty much the main differences on a high level, but let's go and check them out on a little bit more of a specific basis. So here we have Lightroom Classic. We can see that it's broken down into multiple modules, library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, and web. We can see that within each module, there's a whole ton of options to work with. This is library, develop, which is where you do all your main photo editing, your map view, making a book, if you really want to do that, slideshow, which is like making uh, PowerPoints, print, which is getting obviously your photos ready to be printed, and then web, I think, is a way for you to embed your photos into a gallery on the website. If we jump over to Lightroom CC, we can see that it's a vastly different uh, user interface. We can see that they still have this little cloud storage button here. And then that's pretty much the only button that's in the exact same place. We can see here that Lightroom CC isn't broken down into modules. It's all 
a little bit more streamlined. So you have the option to add your photos right away here, or you can go into the Learn tab and scroll through some of the tutorials that other people are offering. Basically, you get to edit a photo along with the creator, seeing how they went from uh, the start to the finish. So it's kind of cool for beginners to be able to uh, work alongside with creators instead of downloading a photo and following a YouTube tutorial. You actually get to work directly within Lightroom and doing all these edits yourself. And then within the Learn tab, you can go through and find different topics through scrolling through, but you can also go and use the Browse tab here and find different tools that you want to learn more about, uh, subject matter, so there's a lot of ways to learn more about your photo editing within Lightroom CC. Next, we have this little Discover tab. This is where fellow users of Lightroom can upload their edits uh, you can see the before and after and see uh, just how much they did and you know browse through like them and I think you can also follow people as well and you can even go through and see all of the photo edits that they did pretty cool to be able to see all of the different ways that you can find learning opportunities within Lightroom CC so now that we have this whole folder imported into both uh, softwares we can see that there's still quite a different look between the two of them another difference between the two of them is how each software holds all of their edits in the photos Lightroom Classic works with catalogs and collections so catalogs are basically like a file that all of your edits are being written into and you can open up these catalogs and make new ones and all of these catalogs are stored right here we can see that I only really have one which is all of my photographs and then there's one that was previous import which is all the photographs that I just imported which are in all the photographs. And then within these catalogs we have collections. These collections are kind of basically like an album that we can drag and drop all of our photos to. And then there's also smart collections which are ways that Lightroom can sort the photos on their own. So we can go and create a smart collection and we can use all these different features of one photo to sort them automatically. So if we have any photo with a focal length greater than 50 millimeters, we can create this smart collection and now we have 57 photos out of the 188 photos which were greater than 50 millimeters. So this really comes in handy when you're building uh, all of your photos and trying to group all of your photos together. It really makes it easy to sort. Uh, meanwhile, in Lightroom CC, all we have is basically albums and folders. Folders are basically just a folder to hold all of the albums you make. So if we have a folder called um, Snow. Now all of the albums that I make, Snow Day 1. I can put this album within this folder. So there's really not a whole lot of options like Lightroom Classic has with the collections and smart collections, but I guess it's an easy way to organize them yourself. Personally, I much prefer having smart collections and custom collections that I can make. Here we can see I can make a standard collection, go to my previous import, drag and drop these into this collection, nice and simple. One big feature in Lightroom Classic that I've never used before that isn't in Lightroom CC is face detection. Lightroom Classic can go through all of your photos within a collection and look for faces and try and organize all of those faces uh, into their own little folders. And that can really help if you're working in events or weddings and you're trying to find specific people. You can use facial recognition to be able to automatically sort and find each person. So there's a bunch more differences between the two of them, but I think the rest of the main differences really come in the way that you're editing a photo. So if we go and start developing a photo within Lightroom Classic, we just start selecting a photo here and click on the develop tab. Uh, we can see that this is all of our editing tools on the right here. And then if we find the same photo here, we can click on this little button up on the top right. And Again, this looks quite different on the right here. One thing you'll notice is these little pop-ups. This is because 
Lightroom CC is a little bit more targeted to beginners uh, who may not know what each of these tools do. So clearly when we're putting them side by side like this, there is quite a significant difference between the two of them. So a few more differences would be that Lightroom Classic can work with plugins, whereas CC can't. Lightroom Classic can export in multiple different file formats and adding watermarks and things like that. Meanwhile, in Lightroom CC, you're pretty much only able to export with JPEGs. Lightroom Classic can also work with a secondary screen. Uh, this has actually been a new thing that I found out recently and I've been loving it. Being able to have your entire library of photos in the little grid on one screen, meanwhile you're working in the develop tab, working on one specific photo on the other screen. For people who may have to work with multiple edits of the same photo, Lightroom Classic works in a lot more different ways. You can create snapshots, you can create digital copies and actual copies. So I guess Lightroom Classic can copy and rename the original file in there as well. And then Lightroom Classic can also sync settings between multiple photos. Those are all things that only Lightroom Classic can do. Uh, the only thing similar to those that Lightroom CC can do is um, making versions, which is kind of like digital copies, but slightly different. So with all that being said, those are the main differences between the two of them. Who is each one suited for? So Lightroom Classic is definitely more targeted towards uh, professionals and people who use photo editing a lot, and especially people who are coming from the old Lightroom, um, maybe back in the Creative Suite days. Lightroom Classic is not too much different from when it started, um, or at least back then. Lightroom Classic is also good for anyone who may need any of the specific features that it offers that Lightroom CC doesn't offer. Um, things like facial recognition, watermarking, plugins, things like that. If you intend on building up Lightroom a little bit more, then Lightroom Classic is definitely for you. Some people who download Lightroom CC may complain about the lack of all the many features that Lightroom Classic offers, but I think many other users would also say that that's the main benefit of using Lightroom CC. So Lightroom CC can be targeted towards many different people. People who prefer the streamlined workflow, people who don't really need all those big fancy features that Lightroom Classic has and would rather just a simple photo editor. One big thing would be people who work remotely or people who are switching between devices, all the syncing to the cloud settings that Lightroom CC offers is a big benefit there. And I guess finally, anyone who really appreciates a uh, new modern user interface, then I guess Lightroom CC is for you as well. So to sum this all up, Lightroom CC can be compared a little bit more towards Apple Photos where you have your collection of photos and some a little bit more basic edits. Lightroom Classic can be compared to Capture One, which is a full-fledged um, professional workflow for photographers and photo editors. So thankfully Adobe has multiple different subscription options for different uses of their photographer plans. Uh, you've got your Lightroom CC plan which offers one terabyte of cloud storage for $10 US. You have their photography plan which offers Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic as well as Photoshop and only 20 gigabytes worth of cloud storage for also $10 a month. And then you have that same photographer's plan with one terabyte worth of storage for $20 US per month. So thankfully there's multiple options to use between the three. So thankfully there's multiple options to use uh, Lightroom with so you're not stuck to one specific pricing model. So ultimately it's up to you to decide which one is best for you. You may not fit into the target audiences that I said for each software. If you're still unsure, I would recommend getting the photographer's plan. Try it out and see which one is best for you. And I also think they offer 30 days as a free trial. So check that out before you commit to one of the plans. Figure out which Lightroom is best for you and then choose a plan according to your preferences. Personally, I think the photography plan is best because you get Photoshop as well, all for 10 bucks a month. One terabyte worth of cloud storage does seem nice, but personally I'd rather just work on hard drives 
and then use like OneDrive or Google Drive for any small syncing that I need to do instead. So that's it for me today. Thanks for watching episode one of the January Lightroom tutorial series. Next up, we'll be talking about Lightroom Classic and going through a basic edit in that software and just checking out a little bit more in depth into how to use Lightroom Classic. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss that video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.